Well, I'm joined now by Annabelle and Janae, who are both in support of Brett Kavanaugh. It's easy to assume, with the amount of protesters we've seen, uh, that this could potentially be a damaging process for Republicans going forward. But it appears there's actually been an upswing. What are you being told by your supporters? Yeah, I think that there has been an upswing. And I think the reason for that, you know, we've been supporting Judge Kavanaugh since the beginning. And there have been thousands, hundreds of thousands of women across this country doing the same. We went on a bus tour and met with hundreds of those women. Um, but what we're talking about now is not even just Judge Kavanaugh, but we're talking about due process and the presumption of innocence and everything that our judicial system is based on. And I think that's why people are now flooding out in support of this, because not only is it the man that they've been supporting who has 12 years judicial experience, has an impeccable record, an outstanding and exemplary character who has given his life to service at his children's school, at his church, in his community, but now it's not only about that, but it's about these, these larger issues that have the potential to impact each and every American citizen in a negative way if he is not confirmed. We know, don't we, that there were plenty of voters that didn't like Donald Trump, but actually they voted for him because they wanted to see their pick in the Supreme Court. Is it, do you think that's what's driving this more absolutely. than anything? Absolutely. I absolutely think so. Exit polls show that women women in particular, but people all over across this country felt very strongly about the Supreme Court. And you said it yourself, they voted for President Trump because of that. He did something that no other presidential candidate has ever done. He released a list of names and said, these are the people that I would nominate a short list. And so people knew exactly what they were getting, and that gave them the confidence of going out and voting and saying, okay, this is not four years, it's 40 years, it's generations to come. We don't want legislators on the bench. We don't want judicial activists. We want true constitutionalists who are going to look at the case before them and the Constitution and rule based on that. And that's what the American people voted for. There's one issue, isn't there, of the sexual assault allegations, and there's the other about temperament for this position. Were you concerned at all by what you see, saw play out in that hearing from Brett Kavanaugh? He himself concedes that he was perhaps overly emotional. Well, I, we, Concerned Women for America had people inside that hearing room for the original, the actual hearing, every single second of that hearing. And then we had people in that room again for the supplemental hearing with Dr. Christine Blasey Ford. And personally, I don't think he was. I mean, I'm sure he's being hit so hard. We know he's being hit so hard for his temperament. But the truth is that this man, when he stood, when he sat in that seat under oath, he had just been accused of not only Dr. Christine Blasey Ford's allegations, which are still unsubstantiated, but he had also been accused of organizing orchestrating gang rapes, multiple gang rapes of women. So you can only imagine his his need to clear his name. I think that's justified in, 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 in you know, a justified position of, of being upset. 